Hey Warriors fans, how are you? Before we get into today's hot topic, leave a like. Now let's talk about this bombshell that came out of the Golden State Warriors. As the Golden State Warriors prepare to start training camp, one of the biggest questions surrounding the team is whether or not Jonathan Kuminga will get a contract extension before the October 21st deadline. And look, Kuminga himself is pretty relaxed about the situation. I hope so, Kuminga said, via Anthony Slater of The Athletic. Only God knows. I don't know what's going to happen, but it would be nice. That's not my problem. I'm happy to be here. Happy to start a new season, my fourth year. Things will happen. I would love that, but I'm not too worried. If I get it, great. If not, I'm just going to keep being me. I'm going to go out there and perform. That's not my problem. Kuminga made it clear that, while he hopes the extension with the Warriors will be completed before the deadline, he's not losing any sleep over it. He's ready to play, no matter what. In addition to Kuminga, Moses Moody is also in negotiations for a contract extension this offseason, as both have until October 21st to finalize their deals. The Warriors have already expressed interest in retaining both players, and according to Brett Siegel of Clutch Points, Kuminga is seeking a contract similar to the one Scotty Barnes and Franz Wagner got. Kuminga is essential for the Warriors to remain competitive, as the championship core, now without Clay Thompson, is aging. The 2021 draft pick with the seventh overall pick, Kuminga showed tremendous growth during the first few years of his career and is now one of the most important players on the roster, probably behind only Stephen Curry and Draymond Green. He even surpassed Thompson, who left the team this offseason. Considering Green's style of play, Kuminga could easily be the second-best scorer on this team. This is the final year of Kuminga's rookie contract, so a decision will be made soon, one way or the other. If an extension isn't reached by October 21st, he'll play out the season on his expiring rookie contract. Given Kuminga's growth and development, it seems like a sensible idea to lock him up for longer. It'll be interesting to watch the negotiations in the coming weeks. Will the Warriors and Kuminga come to an agreement? Now, I want to hear from you. Do you think the Warriors should re-sign Kuminga early or should they wait longer? Let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more Warriors updates. Go Dubs!